Hello, today I'm here with a new video and I hope that you're not tired of me or Kaleidos because today I'm going to do another Kaleidos video. I know I had a whole week the week before but today I am back and today I'm going to talk about five things that I think you really should try from Kaleidos that I love so so much. Kaleidos is one of my favorites, favorites, <laughs> favorite brands and I also got some PR from Kaleidos that doesn't like change my opinion about them. I have bought a lot of the products for my own money as well and if I wouldn't get PR from them I still would buy them because I really really love their products. But I'm going to show you my five favorite products and talk about them and just recommend them to you. So I think we just get started. And I'm actually only going to talk about one eyeshadow palette. I have this with Kaleidos. I think you can buy which palette you want. Just go after like the color store you like the most or the color store you want. But the palette I could really recommend all of you is Sci-Fi Green. This is the Fusion 1 palette and it is the green palette. It looks like this and this is just a dream for me. Even though, okay, I can't, I have to stop saying this. I'm like always, I'm not the biggest fan of green. I start to be a big fan of green. But even before, when I wasn't, I really, really liked this palette. This palette is just amazing. Like this grungy shade up here, to die for. The two shimmers are so, so good. They are like metallic and they are just amazing. The greens are really good, even though they are pretty similar. I like them both either way. And the black in this palette is like the blackest black. I love this black shadow. So this palette I can really recommend if you want to try. I think it is their one of their best palettes. But if you want another color story, you might don't want to use green. You can go with another one. But I really, really, really love this palette. So this is the first thing that I would recommend you to buy from Kaleidos. Next up is a product that I'm like obsessed with. I have used this every single time I think that I've done my makeup since the day I got it. And it is the Charisma, I think it's Charisma, contour palette. And I have it in cool and light. It looks like this. I actually only use this for my contour. I love this. If you have been here on my channel before, you know that I've used... <laughs> Astrid is here. Okay, and she's... She's screaming. Okay, where was I? Yeah, if you have been here... Do. If you have been here before, I have really... I think she just has to be done here before I continue. Maybe I should just take it all over. Okay, so I think she's still now. Where was I? This palette. I love it. Yeah. Um, before I got this, I 99% of the time I used Sculpt from NYX. Now I like only use this shade for my contour. This is amazing. I... I just love this. This is what I want in a contour product. It is really good color for me and it's not that pigmented and I hate to pigmented contour shadows because then I usually fuck it up. This you can build up. You can just have a little bit if you want a little bit. I only have a little bit because I always want a little bit. I really really love this. They have three shades. They have the cool and light, warm and medium, I think. I gave that away to a friend. And also warm and deep. And from my point of view, they have good colors. I don't know, like for darker skin tones because I am pale. But I really, really love this. I love the formula. I love how it looks. And I just love it. So I can really recommend this. And I guess that all of the three are as good. 
The next product is their highlighters and they have two different highlighters. They have the one that it's called N and the one that it's called G. 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 Yeah. And I like the N one most. Uh, they are not like that chunky. They are really smooth. And my absolute favorite is actually Diamond Dasher. This is one of the newer ones. And... It looks like this. Maybe I can show you a little bit closer, actually. If my camera wants to. It looks like that. It is what I have on today. I don't know how much you can see. But I think this is such a good color. It has a little bit of a pink sheen to it. But it's not too much. And it's not chunky. It's really smooth. And I think it works both with like a warm tone look and a cool tone look. I just love this. And also if I go in a little bit um, lighter with it, it works like for natural look as well. If I just want a base. So this Diamond Dasher. I love this so so much. This is my favorite highlighter from Kaleidos. And I also would recommend you to buy one of their brushes. I have the brush kit and I like it. And I have a brush that I love so, so much. It is the S5. It's their small, like, pencil brush. But a, like, fluffier pencil brush. I think this is the perfect size for me for, like, my inner corners or my lower lash. Or like if I want to do another shade like in here, in my crease, it is perfect. And I just love the shape and it's not too fluffy but not too stiff. And this I can really recommend, I use this a lot. I think it is a great brush and I actually am thinking of buying one more because it's just such a, such a good brush. I can't recommend this enough. And then the last thing I would recommend from Kaleidos. I recommend everything. But like my last favorite, favorite product from Kaleidos. Is their lip tonic. And I actually took two colors. I took Immersion and Ambition. And these lip tonics. I don't have it on today. I have a lucid lip. But um, these lip tonics. I can leave some videos that I've used these <laughs> down in the description these lip tonics are like stain and they are just so so good these are some of my absolute favorite liquid lipsticks and they are a little bit cooling when you put them on and they they are not like super super intense. The red one is really red, but it's not like I don't know how to describe it. It is really really red, but it's not like too red. It can never be too red, but I hope you get what I mean. And they like fade so so nice because they leave a stain. <clears throat> What happens with my voice? It leaves like a stain on the lips. So you don't have to worry if you go out and eat or something. So they like dry down. And they are there. The color fade a little bit. If you eat and such like that. But still look really really good. And they are so so comfortable. And because they are so like light coverage. And like stain you can build you can just put on more. I had this one at the Christmas party with work. So I had it for a long time. And I don't want this to be finished. It is amazing. It didn't look like strange at all. Even though I ate a lot. And like greasy food. And it stayed on. And when it started to like be a little bit less. I just put on one more layer. And it looked amazing. So... If you want to maybe go into liquid lipsticks but you are wanting something that isn't drying and isn't like 
too intense, I can recommend them. And even if you love liquid lipsticks as I do, just try these because these are amazing. So Immersion is my favorite color, but Ambition is also my favorite color because I love red. But this Immersion, I just love it. It's like a cool, cool tune. Why do I have such a hard... Am I stupid or something? <laughs> this is like coal toned. Is it too many O's for me? In Sweden, I would say it's kall. Coal is kall. Kall nyans. It's a coal toned. So maybe I should just start to say kall nyans. Kall nyans. Is it even that? Sometimes when I try to like translate things in my head, I'm like, is it that the, even the Swedish word or is it just like translation? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Here they are at least and you see the red one is amazing and I can really recommend these lip tonics. I, I love them. And you know what? That was actually the five products I can really recommend from Kaleidos. I think everything they do is really really good but these are like my top five and I wish that they would release more liquid lipsticks because I just love them. So yeah I really hope you like this video and I will leave Kaleidos website down in the description if you want to buy anything. If I find any codes like affiliate codes or discount codes from my friends. I will leave them down there. I don't think though Kaleidos has any discounts code discount codes. Is it just me or is it a little I don't know. Um I will leave it down in the description as well. So yeah. I really hope you liked this video and mm, I don't hope that you are too tired with Kaleidos because it will be more <laughs> Kaleidos videos this week. At least one. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!